Welcome to the pre-match press conference for Jamshed FC versus Chennai FC. We have Jamshed FC head coach and coordinator with us. Uh, Ul, so starting from the previous encounter, uh, any injury updates from the, that match? Yeah, again, uh, one or two of the lads have, have started stepping up the training. We mentioned now Bobashir's back within the group, so he's what he needs now is obviously minutes in the field at some point. Uh, but he's training well, so that's great. Len Dungo has done some uh, light training with the group as well, so great, and has Prona Halder. So those ones we'll certainly look at with a view of possibly being involved. Uh, not made a final decision, but they're moving the right way. And uh, the others obviously will take a little bit more time. Uh, speaking of Mobashi, uh, there's a special stat for him if he appears in the next match. He'll be completing 50 Jamshed FC appearances, uh, which is a big milestone for an Indian player. Uh, so what are your thoughts about, how impressed are you with the lad, considering he's a local buyer of Jamshed? Yeah, listen, everybody knows the opinion I have of Mobashi. I have so much time for him. He's working very hard at his game. He was an integral part of our team last year, and he will be this year again as soon as he's you know, at full health, which he's very close to now. And he would already have, have surpassed that milestone had he not picked up uh, that injury in, in, in the pre-season. But you know, Mobishu has got a big role to play at the club, particularly in the second half of the season. And we look forward to getting him on the field. And as you say, it's a tremendous achievement for him. But I've told him he has some, so, so much more to give. He has to continue to, to focus, work hard, listen to his coaches. And if he does, then as I say, he's going to have a very good career, which is great for, for a local lad as well. Uh, coming to Ritwik Das, he had an impressive performance. He was a menace the entire match versus whatever minutes he played versus Kerala. Uh, how impressed were you with him and uh, would he be able to nail his spot in the starting eleven anytime soon? Yeah, well Ritwik, again, I was delighted with him as I was with Boris because obviously the two lads had been on the on the bench prior to that and then obviously the injuries to Komal and Len gave the boys the opportunity and, and they were ready. You have known that for for a period of time and they both came in, worked very hard, brought a lot of qualities to the team. So I was delighted in both Boris and, you know, chatting about Ritvik because for Ritvik it was his first start. You know, Boris has started before. So it was very pleasing that Ritvik shown, as I knew anyway from seeing him every day in training, his attitude, his desire to get better. And uh, and I thought he gave a terrific performance against Kerala. So that stands us in good stead. And, uh, you know, so it gives you certainly food for thought moving into the, the Shenayan game. Uh, coming to the results, uh, uh, Jamshedpur has seen a few too many draws and dipped uh, to fourth place, but still, uh, first place is only three points away. How do you an analyze this situation? Yeah, I think I think Jamshedpur has done from the outset of the season been very very good. I think everybody would accept that we probably should probably have had a few more points given the performance we've had. We've lost one game, and even in that game, we found ourselves three nothing down after. 15 or 20 minutes and rallied really back and could have taken something from that. So I think in the league is showing there's, there's lots of draws in the league, that, that goes without saying. But, you know, Jim Shepard are a club that's never been in the playoff positions. At the moment, we find ourselves in those positions because we've earned the right to be there and possibly could have been higher. What we have to do is focus on those remaining games now and make sure that we keep ourselves in those top spots. The only way you do that is to continue to work hard, to continue to improve. Uh, continue to stick together, which is really important. You know that that togetherness, that spirit that were fostered and built, that we keep on, you know, bringing that, and everybody working it so hard. Very talented individuals, but as a group, that's where the work needs to be done. You know, our, our, any success, any relative success we'll have, it will be together. It will be as a group. So we need to keep striving for that. Keep looking to improve on that, because you know there's some very very good teams in the league. There's teams in the league that have spent huge amounts of money, certainly far more than ourselves. So in terms of budget-wise and everything else, you know, we have been terrific. We need to make sure that we keep doing that moving forward. It's not what's behind you, it's what's to come. And that's what's exciting about it. Uh, you have been witness to some amazing goals in your career. Uh, and Greg's free kick, it has spread like wildfire across the world. And fans are calling it worthy of a Puskas Award winner. Uh, how do you rate the goal? Yeah, I think the goal, you know, it's, it's an outstanding moment in football. Uh, and Greg has that ability. That I mean, I I scored nearly 300 goals in my career, but certainly none anywhere near as a, a wonderful a strike as that. And that's the quality he has. That's why I brought him to the football club. And he continues to to show that 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 brilliance. But he does it within the team, and that's what I love about him. You know, Greg Stewart is talented. He says everything about Greg is about the team, how hard he works against the ball, and what he brings with the ball. And that's why he's he's a shining example of what we're trying to build, what we're trying to to implement at, at Jamshedpur. 
we are, we are facing, facing uh, Chennai and FC next, who are dealing with the series of uh, low performances and uh, they are playing us only with a two day gap. Is it an advantage for Jamshed to FC? Not particularly, because we, you know, we've had that, that we've had to play. You know, Métis came on bargain after three days, then Mumbai after another two days. You know, that's that, that's what happens in the league. You know, the fixtures come about. Ultimately, everybody plays the same amount of games in the same period of time over the course of the season. So, uh, Shanahan have good players. They have a wonderful coach. You know, uh, somebody I've been very taken by. Uh, I like when he spoke. He spoke very well. And, uh, and obviously, I know the club. I was there and very successful uh, in, in our time there. So, uh, I know the players. They've got quality players. They really have. They're a very good team. And you know, even you know the, the the game against Bengaluru, they were very, very, very unfortunate. I mean, Shanahan could easily have been three zero up after fifteen twenty minutes. They were totally dominant for the first twenty minutes, and and they scored some wonderful chances. So uh, you know, we're taking you know we'll, we'll certainly know how dangerous the opponent is. As I say, I know they're fantastic players with an outstanding coach. So we'll be very respectful of that and very wary of the threat, the threat that they have. What we have to do, of course, given all that respect which we'll give them, is to make sure that we're bringing our best game. If we're at our very best, we've shown we can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody in this league and win games, and that's what we have to look to do. Uh, coming to the last question, uh, we have, uh, Jamshed Perth has eight consecutive matches at Bambolim now. Uh, so is, uh, does that relax the pressure on the players' minds considering the travel reduces? No, I think what's good about that is that Bambolim is only... You know, it's, it's not far from our hotel base, and that's why we we structured. You know, we we thought about you know in terms of the travelling last year, there was we huge travel issues, and particularly obviously with some of the bridges that go with the with the buses, there's, there's always issues. But so we 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 purposely designed it that you know for certainly our home games, we we and and at Bamble, in which we're going to play out of, that it be local access. So the bottom line is, you know, where you play and where you travel, all those little bits help. It's what you do in the field. So we have to make sure, having taken all that into account, that we're fresh, we're ready to give a big performance because that's what we needed. Start against Shanahan and hopefully kick off 2022 with three points. Thank you so much. Pleasure as always, boys.